Ali and this is GearWire.com. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Native Instruments Machine. Uh, machine is a groove box hardware controller slash software application. Now this center section of buttons. Uh, we've got the mute, the solo. In the select uh, mode we can basically select events that are taking place on screen for editing. So if I hold down select on the secondary screen here, you can see all the sounds that are currently mapped in this particular group. Uh, the bold sounds are the ones that have currently been sequenced within this particular pattern that you can see from the screen itself. So I have a few uh, samples from this particular group that have been used within this particular pattern. If I want to select them at any time, I can do that also from the hardware controller just by holding down the select button and selecting the actual events. And they are selected for editing, copying, and so on and so forth. So once again, you can do most of your work right from the hardware controller. Uh, the duplicate function is exactly that. I can grab a sound while I'm holding down the duplicate button and then duplicate it to another pad that simple. That works with patterns, with sounds, and, and scenes, and so on. The navigate button will allow me to open different windows on the actual screen, on the software interface. So from here I can close the browser, open the browser, I can close and open the arranger, the parameter section, and the modulation section at the bottom. So once again, hardware control of all of the software functions for the most part. Okay, and then back to the controller. I've got a keyboard uh, button here which allows me to basically go into keyboard mode, take one sound, let's say this particular sound, and map it out across the entire keyboard throughout the entire 88 note range basically. So. You can trigger sounds as just single one-shot samples, or you can map them out chromatically across a keyboard if you don't actually have a keyboard. If you do have a keyboard, any keyboard with a MIDI output can plug directly into the MIDI input on the back of the machine and will automatically uh, be able to access the sounds that you've currently got selected within machine. Okay, keyboard mode also is a temporary button, or you can latch that by holding it and the keyboard button and locking it in. And then coming out of there as well. The pattern mode, uh, this is where you basically build your sequences or patterns, however you want to refer to them. Several patterns you tie together to make different scenes, and then scenes you tie together to make an entire song. So basically you're building patterns, tying those together in scenes, and there's your song. So. Uh, you can think of this in terms of sequences, tracks, groups, however you want to think about it. It's a little bit different, but once you get used to it, it's, like I say, very quick and easy to get into. All right, so then up here, we have a few more buttons. We have uh, our arrow keys, which just take us through different pages, different menu pages. If I'm in my sound uh, mode and I'm in the source mode, as you can see, I have several windows that I can move through to edit one particular sound. I've got everything from um, group settings, uh, velocity settings, pitch, amplitude, effects, filters, mod, envelopes, LFOs, everything. So every sound can be edited to that degree. One, two, three, four. It's about five pages of editing for each sound. Also here you got the browser. So if I need to grab sounds for machine, I just hit the browser. And this basically turns into a core-like interface. If you're familiar with Native Instruments and some of their previous products, then you know that they've pretty much got the whole browser and sound tagging thing uh, down to a science. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's a quick and easy way to find a, a particular sound if you have thousands of sounds loaded on your hard drive. So in this case, I can just filter. I can choose attributes for sounds. I can say, I want to find a sample. I want it to be a one shot or specifically a uh, drum sound in this case. These pots are a little sensitive sometimes, so 
maybe uh, that will be fixed in a later update. Uh, one note I will throw in is that if you buy a machine today, the first thing you want to do is download the update that is available. I believe it's a 1.02 update, but it, it adds sounds, it adds some more features, and it's, it's pretty necessary. Anytime you uh, buy any software product, I'd say your first step should be registering and downloading any updates available. So same thing with machine. So once we browse through our different sounds, we can find samples, we can actually load projects. If we're in the master mode, we can load in a whole project. All of this is stuff that you would usually be doing with the mouse and the keyboard from the screen, but I can do all that right here from the hardware. Sampling mode is exactly that. Machine is also a sampler. So depending on the audio interface you're using, you can uh, plug in a guitar, you can plug in a microphone, or just a line input, whatever it may be, and sample those sounds right into the machine software, basically. And you can edit, slice, chop sounds, map them to the 16 pads, and so on, all very easily, right from the controller. I can take a drum loop, put it in here, and automatically slice it. And as you can see here, it's prepared to basically chop that particular sound. It could be a drum loop, a sound, whatever it might be and split it amongst the 16 pads. It's a full featured sampler. I'd say you can pretty much do everything you need to do right from um, the hardware and the software for, for any sound, any groove related uh, project you might want to do. Uh, as far as hardcore sampling, where you might try to step up to something like a Native Instruments contact, of course, it's not going to do all that. But if you just need to get sounds in and chop them up and use them real quick, machine is perfect. Okay, so then once again here at the top, I've got my control mode, which is basically your home page or your home mode. That's the mode that you would typically be using when you're using the machine uh, software. There's also the uh, step mode, so I can just record in step time, basically. So you've got the option of recording in real time or in step time. So uh, those are the basics of the machine, Native Instruments machine hardware controller. And uh, we'll be back with some more, I guess. I'm Owen O'Malley, and this is GearWire.com.